Hello everyone and welcome back to Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. In the last episode, we managed to make our way all the way up here to the Constructors Guild and look at that giant candle. Oh, it's amazing. There were, those are some huge globs of wax, all from that tiny little flame. Hmm, I'm not sure about that one. I think they may have sculpted it to look that way. Oh, those cheats. Right, we are on a quest at the moment. Well, we're actually on several quests, in fact. But one of the big things that I have chosen to want to do is get to the top of this here mountain and jump off it. Now, that may sound silly, but I have a magical umbrella that can that can bear my weight and also has a little lamp there and doesn't catch on fire and I just want to float down to the bottom of the ground with a very, very, very long jump. Uh, because there is actually an achievement for it. I, I'm not going to lie, that is a very big part of my desire to do it. But there's also, uh, it, I'm hoping it's going to be a really awesome jump. Oh, hello. Show me your mindfulness. The gifts of the land are bountiful for those who know where to look. Ooh, use mining spots. You're, oh, really? I just used one, though. Oh, why do you always tell me to do the things I've just done? Oh, wow. I'm sure we'll be able to find a few. Uh, oh, I need my hammer. So let's get that. Make our way through here. Hello. Hello, I'm looking for mining spots. Are there any hidden behind these? No, okay. Um, let's see, we've got to keep very mindful of that. Any other old Ooh. Hello. There's a wee a bit of murk all the way up here at the top. Wow, look at that. We can see all the... Oh, there's Bobintoff over there. Oh, that is a very long way away. Okay, then. Let's see. Can we clear this murk? We can indeed. Let us do so. Bump. There we are. Lovely. Now, can do we have anything to plant? We do indeed actually have something to plant. Marvelous. Um, aha! aha! I spy you there. Uh, gonna grab my pickaxe though. There we go. Perfect. Right then, is this the best place to jump off from? I was kind of hoping there'd be a, a way to get even higher because that looks super awesome up there. Is there anywhere else to go? Because I've kind of come the, the whole way that I, I can see to to travel so far. Do not jump. Do not jump. You'll jump backwards. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not brave enough to try that one. Uh, but it looks like there's something through there. Hmm. Maybe. Ha 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 Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I can't jump good. Oh, maybe though. Maybe, just maybe we can get around. Hmm. I would most deeply, deeply appreciate getting over there. Let's try and jump from here. I'm almost certain that we're not going to make it though. No, we're not. Hopes and dreams dashed. How horrible. Okay, well, we've got a couple of quests that we can work on. We can take uh, stuff to the Moth Sanctuary. Search for Celestial Ore. Um... What do we have to do there? Oh, wait, three nights, of course, yes. Uh, and the repair the cloud catcher. Well, the moth sanctuary seems to be a one that we're going to need to do. So, let's get right to the edge here. I can't tip the camera down anymore, which is unfortunate, though. Oh, there's something over there that we could try and get to. But that, see, I really want to jump down all the way down there. <laughs> okay, it's time. It's time to see if we can get the achievement for this stupendously long drop and Geronimo now where do we want to go I'm gonna guide myself is there any way that we could mm, if I go over there I know I'm not gonna be falling for long enough so I guess we're just gonna be uh, floating down in this general direction today ah oh, this is fantastic that is screen that is a uh, thumbnail material right there I feel yep Wow, this is an incredible long drop. No, 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 no. Ha, ha, ha. We avoided it for as long as we possibly can. And down we go. I don't think we actually got it. Well, I'm incredibly disappointed. We need to be a little bit more active and a little bit less worrying about uh, thumbnails. Oh, well. 
Well, that being said, maybe I did get the achievement, it just hasn't popped up. Uh, but we're going to go over and deliver this to Woodrow. I think that is the best thing we can do today. Hello. Uh, actually, you know what? Mm. Well, let's actually have a look. Can I make the items that I need? Constructors Guild. Uh, I need mortar and cobblestones. I can make the cobblestone. The mortar just needs clay. Ah, so these aren't actually that hard for me to do. No, pretty much everything here I can make myself. Oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. I like it. Okay, so we can repair that bridge as well on our own, but I'm going to need to go and gather clay first for that one. Mm, we're also going to have to plan our jump a little bit better, because I feel that we can squeeze a few more seconds out of that descent myself. Uh, a few more seconds, as long as we're not faffing around trying to get good camera angles. Like the, the vain little cosmic head avatar that we are. Uh, hello, fish, probably. Or maybe maybe birds that are fishing. Now, we'll head over to the farm down here. Probably pick up some clay. And then we will head over to Woodrow and deliver the moon silk flowers, the ladybird flowers, and the salium flowers. Up we go. There's our beautiful farm just over yonder. Uh, and I didn't even mean to make that punny. That, that pun was entirely unintentional, I assure you. There we go. Hopefully, you can't see that pop-up with my graphics card telling me that there is new drivers. Oh, silly graphics card. Don't you know I'm recording an episode? Here we are. Oh, 54% farm rating. Value produced. Nah, not so great so far. Not so great so far. But... Let's have a quick look, shall we? Hello. We've got 12. Wow, okay. Uh, we've got loads of eggs as well. Loads of milk. Oh, this is, this is actually pretty nice. Yeah, sure. We'll grab all of these because I can sell them. And loads of cheese as well. Ah, this is grand. I've discovered eggs. I'm fairly sure I knew what eggs were before. I've also discovered cheese. Uh, okay, well, we should be able to get more farmhands uh, in the future. Uh, I could also go and uh, pick up all of the uh, the traps around here, thinking about it. My groffel traps. Though, honestly, if a groffel managed to fit inside these tiny little things, I would be terrified more than impressed. Uh, micro groffels. Uh, okay, grab these as well. Either that... Or we caught the, um, uh, I, I want to say red panda, but I know that's wrong. The fennec fox, I think it was. Grass fox, not fennec fox. Grass fox. I'm sorry, grass fox. Hello, spring pig. Mm -hmm. I really want to bring down an ibex. I super want to bring an ibex down here <laughs> so badly, but it would take me so long. I need to build that bridge if I'm going to do that, because it would, it's such a long walk otherwise. And unfortunately, the Abyss won't travel through the uh, Sage Stones, which I think is just unfortunate. I, I, I think they definitely should. That would make my life much, much easier. Uh, there we go. We'll just drop that one there. Probably won't be back for a little while. Okay, onwards we go. Uh, do I have anything? Yes, I do. There we go. You can have that. There are 26 more to go. I think the the only place that... 120, 146. Wow, this place has got a lot of trees. But uh, I think that would probably be one of the last ones that we could possibly get to complete in an area because there's just so many needed. I do want to get an orchard in one of my farms, though, so that perhaps I can harvest seeds from the orchard. I think that is probably going to be one of the big ways of doing it. And uh, now I have the means to do that, though, so uh, it is something that I could look into. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. There we go. Fantastic. Only 25 more to go. Only 25. Uh, hello, Woodrow. There we are. <laughs> Thank you, Spirits here. I will tend to the flowers now. Come back in two days and you shall see the balance of nature restored. Oh, that's lovely. There we are. Very well. Wait, two days for silk moths? Okay. 
Well, we have now got what quest? We have to come back here in a little bit. So, we'll pay the cloud catcher and cover information in Inglebrook is the next one. Uh, there are a couple of others as well. Stone Bridge, find the missing crew, which I haven't done for a long time. Um, Radiant Stand, uh, Sand Shrine, that needs the um, sunglasses. Fashionable Sacro needs a lot of things. Dapplewood, the forest bridge needs uh, this stone. Mm. You know what? What do we need for this one? Three, uh, only one more arch and two more stone pillars. So, we could possibly do that one. Let's uh, have a quick look. Uh, one more stone arch, and for that I need two mortar, two cobblestone, and one keystone. So, let's make the two mortar. One, oh man, that's actually going to be a little bit expensive. Let's make a couple of these, because I know I'm going to need a lot. Uh, there we are. So, we need one of these, which needs one more mortar. And some cobblestone. There we go. And now what do I need? Two mortar, two cobblestone, and we're good. There we are. This is why we've needed to gather all of the stones for so long. We got everything? Yes, we do. Ha ha! It does take a little bit of effort, though, to make these. And uh, three cobblestones, which means another three of these. Wow, the, the thing I'm going to be making the most of is easily going to be the constructor's kits. Easily the constructor's kits. Thankfully, it's just stone and twigs, so I don't mind too much in this case. But it does take quite some time. Oh, really? I'm now running out of fodder? Okay. Well, let's uh, go and find us some fodder to chop down there. We're going to need to go to the grasslands for that one, though. Ah, uh, there, oh, no, there we are. They're not much, but it'll do, I think. Womp. Womp. Oh, there we are. Some more uh, tree seeds as well. Some mysterious seeds. There we go. Have we got any more grass around? We might do... Oh, well, you know what? We'll we'll start wandering in the correct direction, and I will harvest as much grass on the way as I can, and I will bring you back when we are at the bridge, and far, far away from the rattlesnake trees. We've just discovered a blue firework. How marvelous! The party supplies never fail to amaze. Now then, we are up over here. We took a little shortcut through the mountain because <laughs> super lazy. And we're going to be over there to build a bridge. I guess that cancels out the laziness because it actually took me a little while. I had to go back to uh, my original farm to pick up all of the fodder and stones that I had uh, stockpiled there. But we have now got quite, uh, quite an easy way of building these bridges. And I'm super, super happy about that. I will definitely be building the one in Dapplewood Forest. Uh, there we go. I almost said Dapperwood Forest, which I think is a lovely name for a forest, if you ask me. Uh, there we go. Marvellous. We can also start looking at building some of the uh, stone buildings for our farms, which I think would be quite cool. But given that uh, we now have a pretty good use for stone, time for us to start picking it up whenever we see it. Because we go through an awful lot of it when we need it. Oh my lord. I was starting to regret just using it as basic uh, sale supplies at, the, at that point. Uh, we'll also grab the uh, the fodder around here and also any tree seeds that we might be able to grab. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, nature provides. Marvellous. Right, moving on. Now we've got uh, a new area that we can access that I'm pretty happy about um, not too much down there though i suspect that having built all of these things that we uh that i'm making for the quest we may actually have enough to uh complete the constructor quest fairly easily and get mastery over there too grab that there we go pick up the stones never pass the stones not anymore anyway the amount we're gonna need is gonna be fairly substantial there we are all right, where are we heading over here then? Is this a path or is it a new farm? Also, definitely keep an eye around it here. Ha ha! Got you. This looked like somewhere there might either be a secret path or something I could collect. Thank you. I think that actually gives us enough to complete the Sage Stone quest as well, which is particularly useful. Okay, can we clear this Merc? We can indeed. We have the power. There we go. 
and I think it's been one or two days now since we uh, got the quest to set up. Oh, can we uh, go ahead and plant that? No? Yes, there we go. It's been one or two days now since we got the quest from the Constructors Guild, so we should be able to go back there before too long. Uh, anything else around here, or is that just a place where we can plant some trees? That's uh, fine if it was. Uh, let's go ahead and grab you as well. We've definitely got enough now to have completed the Sage quest, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, is anything down here? This again looks like somewhere where I, I would hide something if I was a map designer for this game. 100% I'd put something around here. Or maybe it is just a fishing spot, though. Um, or maybe... Uh, I'm not sure we could make that. I'm fairly certain we would drown. That is unfortunate. Oh well. Let's uh, head on up though. And see what we can do. Can't go anywhere there. Oh, a little bit disappointed, I will confess. However, I'm glad that we can fish from on high. I think that's particularly cool. Okay, let's uh, see if we can't find a nice big fish. My character is thinking about the time that it is taking him to find the nice big fish. No, we're going to keep dodging you, little fish. I want a nice big fish. No. Big fish only, please. Gigantic fish. Huge, extremely rare fish, please. No. Am I only getting three? No, there's four. Uh-oh. The gulls have taken interest. There are too many fish. Too many fish in this pond. Eventually, I'll get to a point where I can't actually avoid the fish anymore while waiting. <gasps> there we go. Yes. You. You. No. No. Yes, you. Come on. Gotcha. No. No. Not yet. There. No. All the little fish are going for it. Come on. Yes. Oh, that was getting harder because the little fish were chasing it around a little bit there. Okay. I wonder if that's intentional. That the more fish there are in the pond, the more they're all vying for the, uh, for the bait. What did we get? We got a knuckle fish. No, that wasn't anything that I hadn't had before. I feel a little bit disappointed, honestly. A little bit disappointed. Oh, look at them. Tiny little Twitter birds. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and craft up some delicious gnomes, I think. Um, do not have dough. We've got eggs now. I just need a little bit of water. I can make the water. That's not a problem at all. Flour. Uh, I can make dough if I get flour. I can't make the flour myself, though. I need bread to be able to make a dippy egg with bread soldiers. <laughs> Sounds delish. Uh, we haven't got any blueberries with us right now. No, we got herbs, unfortunately. Uh, we've not got any potatoes. Yeah, looks like all we can do is make eggs. So that's fine, though. Uh, let's go ahead and make a bunch of water from the vines. So one, two, three... And four. And I always do that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some eggs. There you go. And that as well. There we go. We'll continue to make a little bit here and there. Just so that we are making progress towards our mastery. Right then. What are we finding around here? Uh, let's pop back up the quest for Inglebrook. Uh, Inglenook, rather. So we're kind of heading in the right direction, it seems. I need to get some more... Oh, these are golden mint. Okay. That's actually very nice. Yes, please, and thank you. Let's grab here. You should always say thank you. Even if you're just talking to yourself. Uh, there we go. Keeps you in the habit of saying thank you, you see. Oh, my lord. We've discovered a fluff cub. I wish I knew what you wanted. I need you in my farm. Oh, my goodness. I... I I'm fairly certain that if we if we can get a fluff cub in the farm, the fluff cub is going to be coming out on adventures with us pretty much always. I will have a faithful canine companion. I cannot pass this up. Uh, oh, there's a twig over there. That I, oh, I'm so afraid. Wow, that that is that is particularly harsh. I'm afraid of you because you don't have food. What kind of life have you lived? All right, let's uh, carry on looking around. Ooh, we've got a chest. Very well. What shall we find inside? Flame shampoo. Uh, you know what? Sure. Okay, we're going to try the flame shampoo. Yeah. Okay. We, we've decided to flame up our hair for a little bit. Ooh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Please share with me the secrets of the fluff cubs. Mm. 
Flock cubs have unique nose prints. That's actually quite cute. They smell with their tongue. Uh, oh. Fluff cubs sneeze to signal that they're playing. Hey. You can find the snowy long tails anywhere around here. They love the cold. Hmm. Fluff cubs really liked cooked fish. Ha ha! I have discovered your secret, fluff cubs. You will soon be joining me on my farm. Though, considering how far away my farm is and the fact that I don't have many fish on me. We'll wait until I have had some time to just fish for like half an hour. Then I can be sure that I can lead you back. Because a fluff cub looks like it is big enough to go into one of the uh, large animal barns. And I would like very much to get the final animal on my first farm to be one of the larger ones. Okay, right, what are you going to ask of me? Show me your kindness. The bonds we share shall improve us all. Uh, give at least 50% happiness in any region. Haha, -ha, I've already completed it. The path is opened. Fantastic. The shade, uh, sage stone, the shivering plains. And it's marvellous. I approve. And yes, pretty much everything is a tongue twister for me right now. I've got new braces, so everything, of course, has to have a million S's in it. Uh, <laughs> life. Why do you mock me so? You know what? I'm just going to cook one of these fish right now just so that the fluff cubs stop being afraid of me. It makes my heart hurt. There we go. Uh, we'll also cook you. And we'll cook the lace fish as well. And now I don't have any coal. There we go. They're no longer running away. Oh, I feel a bit happier. Okay, what have we got back here though? We've got something else. We've got a little chest. We only need one sprite to get through here. Pump. There we go. And we've got... Um, some sort of blue shampoo, I think. Well, you know what? Since we are in the plains, let's go with cyan shampoo, shall we? We will blend in a little bit. Oh, my lord. That is, that is particularly cyan as well. Yes. Okay. May have made a mistake. Maybe I'm going to need to go and buy some more flame shampoo. Uh, hello. What have we got over here? We've got some more gold mint, I imagine. There we go. Uh, okay. We are getting reasonably close, I would say. But I kind of want to clear all the muck. Uh, sorry, the muck. The murk. I guess it's, it's, a, it's a bit mucky. The murk is mucky. Uh, let's see. What are you? Uh, you're a kitty cat. Hello, snowy long tail. Oh, so she's telling me where the cats are. Ah. Okay, well, that's actually even more useful. There we go. What have we got down here? Ooh. Hello. Uh, hello. Hmm. Curious. Very, very curious. Can I turn you to face anything? No. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what we're going to find in there. Does it sound like like we're walking on crinkly paper to anyone else? Very bizarre sound for what I can only assume is ice. Let's grab you, clear up this murk as well. Oh, maybe once I've cleared this up, we'll open the door. Has that opened the door? Hmm. Possibly not. Or maybe it has. No. And I can't seem to turn them. Hmm. There's more to it than that, it seems. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to keep our eyes peeled for more of these areas that we can clear up. And there's one over there. There's actually quite a lot of them dotted around. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Ooh, how am I going to get up to that one? Unless there's a ramp on the other side of this little area. Anything around there? Nope. Let's get up here and clear you up then. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you very much for all your help. And we've got a nice big old chest. We've now got Omba Shampoo. Hmm. Uh... 
We could, I guess. Sure. Oh, it's a little, little bit less glaring than the cyan shampoo. Now, are we going the right way? Is this going to lead up to where we need to be to talk with Alda? I have no idea. You know what? We should check on our map, too. We've almost made it all the way around. What? We missed a little bit of Merc? Scoundrels. How did we miss that? I need to go back. I can't leave any Merc. No Merc left alive. Wait a second. Haha! -ha! I have been missing some obvious things that I could smash. There we are, got a silver ingot. Also got some traps, okay. But where be this murk then? Is it down beneath us, perhaps? Or is it perhaps, yeah, it must be through this door that I don't know how to open. Hmm. Okay, that is almost certainly gonna be something that uh, Alderwaxen is gonna help us with. Okay, well, uh, I stupidly went back there, but on the plus side, I can now see that that actually doesn't lead anywhere, but over onto a cliff. So, uh, off to speak with Alderwaxen then. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. I heard a kitten. Ha ha! Okay, so that was worth going back for then. Ah, uh, these, uh, exploring. Exploring for exploring's sake leads us to all sorts of wonderful things, like kittens. And another kitten! It was worth popping over here just because I wanted to be extra certain. Oh, this is fantastic. So many kittens have been rescued. Um, how many more are left, actually? Let's go and have a look. How many more? Oh my lord, we got so many more. We're nowhere, nowhere even close. Nowhere even close. That is not going to be something that we're going to be doing for quite some time. Uh, there we go. Let's go and have a little chat with Alda, who should be down this little uh, icy alley. Hello. Ooh, it's a town. Ooh, it's got a lovely uh, water feature as well. I want to be up there. How do I be up there? Hmm. Okay, looks like we've got quite a few uh, quests around. Also, a magic little pool. What the dickens? I need to be in there right now. Hello? Vellum, this twinkle light is warm and bright. But with you, I will travel, seeker of the sprite. Oh, let's have a look at Vellum. Where are you? Uh, Vellum. We don't seem to have too many more to go. Looks like we've only got eight to go. That's pretty interesting. Vellum is silly. Vellum is whimsical sprite that likes surprising people. Okay, you can come along with me. Uh, first, I need to go and actually finish my quest in order of the, the ones that I've already completed. I hear you're looking for the path to Arcadia. That's strange. Arcadia is a special place for sprite seers. No one's traveled there for a long time. I've been hearing folks tell stories about a lone traveler who talks to sprites. Maybe they were talking about you? Though I was imagining someone older. If you're really a sprite seer, craft this special brew and take it to the pillar in front of our village. Pour the fiery boom water into the pillar very carefully, and then you just have to follow the flames. They'll guide you to Arcadia. Now be careful of your eyebrows. They take a surprisingly long time to grow back. Oh, <laughs> I see some people have had accidents with this boom brew. Very well. New recipe, boom brew water. Uh, okay, let's uh, check that out. Boom brew water, where be you? Is that something over there, Neo? Boom brew water. I'm going to need a brewer's kit, a clay pot, and coal. Ah, I've used up all my coal! Scoundrels! Hello! Oh. Hey there, Wayfarer. As you're not from around here, you might be able to... so help me. I so need help growing a beard. Oh. I know it sounds a little unusual. Everyone in the village thinks I'm so crazy. Oh. You see... Boone, beautiful, has the most magnificent beard you've ever seen. I so want a beard like his. Beards, rather. And I know how to grow it. Macy's friend's cousin neighbor said that you need ghost fish stew to grow a beard. 
The stew is made from ghost fish, which is caught in freshwater lakes and rivers around midnight. Oh, you don't eat it. You spread it where you want the hair to grow. That is so cool. I'd cut from myself, but I'm so afraid of lakes and rivers. Anything bigger than a bathtub makes me freak out. Why are you living right next to the ocean then? Here's the recipe for ghost fish stew. You can keep it. And please bring me the stew at night. Just like the fish, the stew is most potent at night. Uh, all right. Do I actually have a ghost fish? I might, you know. Uh, ghost fish stew. I do not have a ghost fish, but we can see you again, you one. Do not worry. Do not fret. Hello. Uh, talk to jo Josiah. Don't bother trying to trade lumber products in spring more. I hear they've got plenty already. Ah, thank you for the tip. Ooh, we've got someone right at the top there. Ah, oh, it's you! Luff the sailor! Ah. Hey there, feel free to grab a warm drink. It didn't get cold here. I don't remember what happened after the lightning hit the boat. The brewers found me and took me in. It's amazing here, actually. They work hard, but they do love to unwind and have fun. Except Koo the colourful, but he means well. It's great to hear that Captain Pullin was looking for us. Please tell him I am very, very happy. And drop by any time you need to relax. Well, Luff, yeah. I'm glad. All the master craftsmen used to gather in Old Kingdom to swap ideas. Ah. Ah, no, no, come on, let me up. Ha ha. I've got a clay pot. Better well. And Geronimo. Oh, didn't quite get enough distance there. Hello. What do you have for sale? Uh, I would super like you to have a ghost fish. If you could. Um, you've got glue. You've got festival juice as well. Various dyes. Oh, well done. Got a lot of dyes there, actually. Very well done. Don't need to trade anything right now, though, I don't think. Go and have a wee chat. Ah. Hello, Wanderer. Do you know to whom you speak? Yeah. You have the honor of speaking to Q, uh, Q the Colorful. Maker of fireworks and dies without equal, and leader of the Brewers Guild. I would very much like to join. Q the Colourful can see you are here to join the Brewers Guild. Don't answer, Q can see it in your eyes. To begin your journey is easy, to complete it, not so easy. First bring me four Cellium flowers and four blueberries. Q the Colourful is finished. Okay, I will be right back, I suppose. I guess we've got a trip to our farm in uh, Dapplewood in order to pick up some blueberries. We have got many new quests. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Uh, let me have a look, though. Finding Arcadia. I'm going to need... Actually, yeah, let me uh, go and actually select that one. There we go. Hmm. What was it I needed for the, the brew... I need one brewer's kit, one coal. Okay, well, I'm going to need to join this group first then. So that implies I'm going to need to go and get myself some blueberries, which I actually shouldn't be too far from. I believe you can almost see this place from uh, that farm. So let's head in that direction. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we're not actually that far off. If we can get up there is where we need to be. Hmm. What is it? Um, no, no, we need to be all the way over there. Actually, we're a little ways off. They've still got a little bit more of the map to explore. I'm in the mood for a bit more exploration. Also, a little bit more mining, too. Maybe we'll get some coal. Yes, indeed we did. Fantastic. We've got many, many coals. Some ore as well. Uh, let's see. Any more things we can plant? I, I'm pretty certain that bird just jumped out of the ground. That is a quite a neat trick, little bird. There we go. And there's also some, um, crystal formations that we can smash our way through. What are we going to find in here? Oh, just more. Oh, that's fine, though. I don't mind. More coal is always welcome. Actually, we got three coal. That isn't too common. Usually we get quite quite a lot of different things. We, one coal is actually fairly common, I would say. We, we do tend to at least get one. But all of the other stuff, not as much. Doesn't look like there's going to be an easy way for us to get up there. 
Okay. Well, we're going to continue wandering around and maybe uncover a new farm. Though it looks... Oh, no! This is the way to Dapplewood Forest. Oh, fantastic! That is actually stupendously useful. Stupendously useful. Oh, and there is also a building around here. And some more places I can plant trees. Glorious! We are being extremely productive today. Let's get some more trees planted. Oh, can I make it? Can I make it? Let's give it a try and jump! Ah, into the drink. Uh, where we are going to slowly black out. Ah, oh well, one day we'll learn to swim, I'm sure of it. Uh, might be a few, a few episodes from now. Maybe uh, long after the, the, the Let's Play is over, but I have faith that my avatar will one day learn the secrets of moving on water. Even moving underwater. Uh, right, we have got over here... A... Uh, just looks like... Oh, there's a kitten there somewhere. I was going to say, it just looks like a, a, an ice formation. But there's apparently a kitten. There we are. Marvellous. Hello. There we go. And we'll stick you in a box, like all cats prefer to be. Uh, what have we got down here? Nothing too much. There is a tree on that lone rock. I find that actually quite pleasing. We've got a chest over there. Okay. That one might take a little bit of effort to get to, though. We might need to jump down altogether that one. Haha! I spy another kitten! Okay, this area is actually easy to get the cat. You can easily see them. Uh, but we have now discovered quite a lot of them. I think we've picked up three, maybe even four cats so far. Only got four more to go. But there's a cat up there. But for the time being, we're going to go and check out this little uh, hut down here. I wonder if they're going to sell the brewer's kit. Because if I can just buy that without having to do anything else, I would be very, very happy. Hello. Uh, let's actually trade with you first. What do you have for trade? No, just clay pots. Hmm. Unfortunate. Uh, I will buy the water, though. All of it. And I will sell for that. You can have... Wow, that's a, a lot, actually. Um, have I got anything that I can sell for a reasonable amount? Uh, you can have one brothel milk, and you can keep the change. There you go. Hello. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Frostfire Potters. We can make you one clay pot for four clay. Ah, uh, no, that's good, thank you. I'm pretty sure that I might be able to make them better. Those trades usually aren't particularly favorable. Um, I've, I've noticed so far that generally when we can do something like that, we can do it for a lot less, or we can just go and buy the things for a much better price. But I'm going to go and head over to our farm and I will bring you back when we have what we need to join the Brewers Guild. And a little bit more murk cleared. There we go. Is there going to be a journal in here? Yes, there is. Fantastic. It's the remains of a worn diary. Nobody has seen the royal family since the spread of the murk slowed down. I fear for the innocent child the most. Mm, I've got my theories, as does Chet, on the identity of that innocent child. You discovered a headscarf. Marvellous. Uh, right, how far away are we from our farm at this point? Let me have a quick gander. Uh, not too far, but we have got across this river in order to get there. It's kind of a pain. Um, or do we? Actually, no, we might not have to. I can hear a cat. Fairly certain I can hear a cat. Is there a cat around here? Show yourself, kitten. Um, is there a kitten up here? Ah! Let, let me up! I've got to rescue a kitten! Uh, man! Rescuing kittens! Whoever knew that it was this difficult? Whoever knew that jumping was this difficult? My lack of knees is really starting to uh, get on my nerves! Oh my lord! Bend the knees! You, you silly little sausage! Come on! There we go! Ah, oh, fantastic! Don't worry, I overcame a lack of bendable knees in order to rescue you. That's how much I care. Now, where are we? We're going the wrong way. We need to be over there. Um, 
Is there a shallow part we can cross? Yes, there is. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. There's our little farm. There's a beautiful constellation up in the heavens. Illuminated for all to see. Or maybe just for me, because I couldn't see them until I find those uh, shrines. There we go. No, stay away from me, rattlesnake trees. There we are. Hello, little farm. Ah. Let's uh, harvest. So I think we only had red berries over here. Oh, well, that is just a pain. Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll just plant the red berries here then. There, and I don't have any more. Hmm. Well, how much would it be to place down another garden plot then? Let's go and have a quick look at what is required for that. I believe it was the Carpenters Guild that made those. Need the Carpenters set up. Okay, that shouldn't be terribly hard. I need three boards. I've got one board there. Okay, that shouldn't be too difficult for me to make happen. But, for the time being, we're going to need to find someone who has a who has blueberries for sale well that's a lot of blue, red berries i wish they needed red berries oh my lord <sighs> oh hello discover the constellation myas the hopeful beast marvelous but i would like, quite like to get up here honestly because there is murk up there and i want to go and, and rid the world of it uh, it's going to be difficult with this knee problem of mine. Oop, there we go. No, ah, oh. Yes, very difficult. Aha! With a little bit of perseverance we have made it. And we shall clear this murk. I can't imagine there's too many left in Dapplewood Forest now. There we go. Open you. All of the murk has been cleared. Hooray! I have no idea what I got. Probably some king old kingdom coins. Uh, any kittens up this way, maybe? Possibly, perhaps? Ooh, we actually managed to jump forward that time. This is marvellous. Oh, no. It's all it's all going wonky again. Uh, Ha-ha! Maybe. Maybe yes. Yes, we did. Fantastic. We're all the way up here. Uh, ooh, did we just pick up galaxy shampoo? Uh, yes, we did. Ocean shampoo, opal shampoo. You know what? Well, let's try opal shampoo. Yeah, we'll 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 rock it with a, a grey beer for a little while. Uh, anything else around here? Any kittens? No, no kittens. How on earth would you get up here normally? Would this be a place that you would have to jump down from? Oh wait, this ah, you could just uh, drop down here from. The Constructors Guild. I see. That makes a bit of sense. Um, can I go back up there, though, is the question. Because if I can, that would be rather awesome. Because we might be able to uh, complete... No! No! Ow! What I was going to say is we might be able to complete the uh, quest to uh, gain mastery there. Also, the Sage Stone. But I guess that's going to be a little ways away for us. <sighs> okay, well, I've been playing for a little bit over an hour and a half now, so uh, I'm going to be wrapping up this episode, but I didn't want to end without having completed at least one more quest. So, in that pursuit, we are going to head over and say hello to a little shrine. But before then, I just noticed you. Hello. I've got so distracted playing this game, my lord. Hello. No, no, that's not it. It's not under there. Oh, hey, kid, help Grandpa out. Have you seen my Bambex? It's small and cute, kind of brownish, likes vines, big horns like a cactus. Uh, I could find a return of Bambex. Oh, I'm going to need herbs for that, but I could certainly try. Uh, before I do that, I need to go and find the shrine. That's, that's not the shrine. Let's go and find... The Dapplewood Shrine. It's all the way up there. That should not be too hard. It is glowy. But before we go there, once again, true to my nature, I am being distracted by other things that I can do. Ah, uh, there we go. Only 11 more to plant in the forest. That's actually uh, pretty good. <laughs> I'm amused with the forest has less total trees. 
than Hearthwind Vale. Uh, Hearthwind Dale, maybe. Hearthwind Vale, I think it is. Either way, ooh, I need that stick. We are at the shrine. And for this, we need 10 vines and 4 twine. Let's go ahead and fix that up, shall we? There we go. Lovely. Sap. It's been such a long time since a sprite seer has tended to the shrine. I would most like to join you, as it seems our, f uh, our fates are entwined. <laughs> our fates are entwined. Uh, our, I think you meant. But that's okay. You've probably been sleeping for a long time. If, as you say, it's been ever so long since a sprite seer tended to your shrine. There we go. So we've got a new sprite to join us. Let's go and have a quick gander at you shall we uh where is sap that means that we've only got seven to go more or less there we are personality tranquil sap is very enlightened very well sap you can come along with us but that's gonna be it for me for now we have many many sticks that we need to gather to be able to fix the stone bridge in this area we've got a few more days to wait before we can pick up some of the components that are already being made for the uh cloud catchers repairs and uh, yeah we've still got to find some blueberries that is going to take some time as I want to build a new garden plot so I can get some more blueberries planted. I'm not going to have blue and red in the same garden plot. That is just chaos, my lord. But that's going to be it from me. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.